So yesterday we celebrated All Saints Day. You know, those souls that you know, were on earth and they're in heaven now with God, we celebrate that they're there and uh, they can help us. <laughs> they can intercede for us in heaven to help us get to heaven. And so we, we you know, ask for their intercession to help us. But today we celebrate All Souls Day. We've got a little black on here. And uh, we remember those friends and uh, acquaintances and relatives that have died and are not quite in heaven yet. So they're in purgatory. So they're, they're suffering well they're, while they're being purified. And I'm sure it's their choice to do that so that they can eventually be in heaven uh, with God. And so uh, when you think about All Souls Day, um, it gives us a little bit of sadness uh, because we remember our relatives and friends who, are, who have gone, who have passed before us. Um, but it, and also it reminds us of our mortality. We don't live forever. We have a short span of life here on, on earth. I'm, I remember teaching RCIA, you know, it says a little bit of time on earth and a lot of time in eternity. It's just a little bit of time, you know, compared to what we're going to face. And so there's sadness because it talks about our, our uh, mortality as well, remind us of that. Okay, and so all of our readings today, all of them remind us of the hope that we have in a resurrection and a hope that we have in seeing God face to face, being with God for eternity. Okay, and so in that reading from our, the Book of Wisdom, it supports that hope. We heard, uh, and before I get into that, Saint, there's this definition of faith and hope together in the Book of Hebrews, which I absolutely love. And it says, faith is, is the realization of what is hoped for and evidence of things not seen. So it's a real, faith is a realization of what is hoped for and evidence of things not seen. And that's where we are with faith and hope in our resurrection and our seeing God face to face. Okay? So that first reading supports this, this idea of hope. It says, they seem to be dead, talking about people who have died or fallen asleep. They seem to be dead, but they are in peace. And their hope is full of immortality. Chastised a little, maybe their sufferings on earth, what we do in purgatory. Chastised a little, they shall be greatly blessed. In other words, they'll reach heaven. So that reading from wisdom, a couple hundred years before Jesus, fills us with the hope of resurrection, of being with Jesus for eternity. And then in our uh, reading from St. Paul's letter to the Romans, you know, he argues of why we should have hope. And which is, I love the argument. It says, you know, Jesus saved us when we were still sinners and didn't deserve it. And, we, and he loved us so much, he's willing to die for us to save us. And now that we're baptized, we're baptized into his death, and we've given up our sinful ways, how much more would be his desire to save us because we're now his children through baptism? And he's adopted us. God the Father's adopted us. How much more would he want to save us now? So I love that argument. In other words, he saved us when we weren't worthy. And now that we're trying to make ourselves worthy through baptism and keeping our, our souls clean through confession and, and trying to live the good life, he would really want to save us. And so it's just a beautiful argument. And then in today's gospel, Jesus strengthens that hope. What he says in St. John's gospel. He says... And this is the will of the one who sent me, that I should not lose anything of what he gave me. What did he give him? What did the Father give him? He gave him us. So Jesus, it's the will of the Father that Jesus not lose any of us, okay? He says, so he says, and this is the will of the one who sent me, that I should not lose anything of what he gave me, but I should raise it on the last day. Oh my gosh full of hope and resurrection and you know, and seeing God face to face. And so I think today we should unite ourselves in hope with those who have gone before us. 
and we should pray for them that one day we too will be united with them for eternity in heaven.